If you were to ask somebody, say, explain breakover to me. We've talked about this. Why is that important? Forget the farrier side. Why is where my horse breaks over important to me? You as a rider. To me, no? Exactly. Because the breakover point is when you ask for a lead, okay, previous to, or a lead change. So. The second part of that is, I want you to tell me when breakover starts with my right leg. Okay? I'm, all right, you ready? No. No, no, watch my right leg, both of you. Tell me when it starts. Now. now. Watch my right leg, I'm going to tell you when it starts. Ready? Okay, ready? Now. It's already started. Now. Your breakover starts with the heel leaves. Because here's what happens. When this breakover comes to here, is your horse going to duck walk? Or what we would call, if you've never seen a string haul horse, look it up on Google and watch one walk. Okay. Or is your horse okay. so tell me this. Here's one for you. What's the, what's the difference in breakover from here to here? Looks like about six inches. That's insane. <laughs> Breakover's already started. <laughs> Anytime, remember what I said, if something goes wrong, where do we go on our horse? Back oh. to the basin. You just start, you just make it, that's where you're at. Back to the basin. Okay. So same thing. It doesn't matter whether he's a tow dragger, because here's what happens. Everybody says, well, he's a tow dragger. Okay, we're going to put a Mustang roll on him. That's going to help him. Okay. Well, he's playing out whenever he walks under himself. Okay, we're going to take a little more off the inside and turn him in, make him a little cow hawk. Okay? doesn't matter. Here's what matters. Is this is why I have you do those drills of feet, because I want you to know I want you to be so in tune with your horse that you go now, now, now means I'm asking for my lead, now, now, do you see my leg, my heel even move? No, because here's what's going to happen, this going to go here, this foot's already going to be breaking over here, because whenever this foot breaks over, where's all my weight? Yeah, it's on our right leg, right? already got it. Okay, same thing. If I'm here and I go, now, I've already got it. I've already got my lead. That's why it's so important whenever we're doing that stuff because even, like I said when we started this, when you're in four walls, we're pretty contained and we can kind of, I'm out here preaching to you, I can kind of get my your head wrapped around me, but whenever you get out there, all of a sudden, man, we just forget where a le horse's legs are. Are they on top of his head? Where are they? I can't feel nothing. I have, n And that's what happens because we're so worried about everything going on. But if you have that ability, what's, what's the, when do we know we're at the end? We can't learn anything else from any horse 
We've done it all. There's nothing else to be learned. Never. Right, because here's what would it, what that would take. That would take you being able to get on your horse, okay, and never touch a rein and say, I'm going to move the right front foot now. I'm going to move the left hind now. I'm going to move the right hind now. I'm going to move the left front now. Because what we do with the weight distribution on the horse depends on whether we get leads, whether we get the consistency of our cadence, same speed, okay? Whether the horse turns, whether the horse bends, what the horse does. So until you get an idea of, now nah, I'm already there, I'm there, I'm there. That's the beginning of it. So to be able to do that small amount, and then say, okay, go get on 10 different ones now. Okay. So what you're doing is all you've got to worry about is feeling, feeling, and knowing when your horse is stuttering, going fast, balling up under you. That's where all this work pays off when you go out there. When you go and put them on the flag, when you go on a trail ride, whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. Okay? But for us to get you to feel what your body's going to do, whether it's your left hip and your left side and closing the right leg, okay? Because remember, when you over, when you put too much pressure on your left side, what's that do to the back of your horse? It pushes your horse out. He's trying to get away. Horses move away from pressure. They're going, he's going to move this way. If I put excessive left hip pressure, he's going to move this way. Okay? I don't have to worry. Where's the turn start? The best turns in the world start at the hind end. Why? Because you've got to get that activated. Well, I, I don't get that. I don't understand. It's because you don't understand how a horse physically moves. But, so, that makes sense. All right, we want to watch Dave do the foot drill. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you know why? So when I do that to you, what do you learn? <coughs> you learn the most, okay? Because I couldn't move to you. I can see like everybody else and go, listen, you'll never get this done unless I'm here. And you know, I'm here for five days. I've got to be here every day for five days. I can't let you just, we can't get this done in an hour. It's impossible. You can do this in a thousand ninety six lessons. <laughs> All right. Okay, all right, Dave, you're up. Right, what do you want me to do now? All I want you to do is walk forward and tell me when the left hind foot is underneath of you. Okay. How about walking straight there, buddy? Now, 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 now. Now, I'm going to tell you a secret on that. professional trail people and you can say okay get in your saddle and we're going to stand here you're going to get a hundred dollar bill for every time that you tell me when you're left hind and right front where they're at they're going to owe you money at the end because it's, it's something that people oh. don't concentrate on because they don't think it's important okay? so a couple of secrets first of all you got to feel it now i'll tell you why you're having a little bit of a problem because conditionally, we ride, you ride a little bit with a C in your back. So what happens is, is you don't feel it here because if you felt it there, you'd feel, well, that's pulling my hip. To, when your hip gets pulled the opposite direction, where's the other hip? If I'm getting pulled, so my, as my horse walks, think about it. So I just want you to walk with me right now. Just walk and just feel what, feel right now. You feel that? Feel that pull, pull. So that means the right hind on the right side 
is pulling out. So where's that left hind at? We've all seen those old pictures hanging on the wall with the horse's feet like this when they're running. The two front feet are here and the two back feet are there. Okay. Now we all know that's not the way horses work. Well, they work like this. That's the way you should. Okay. But, so here's what happens. Is, is in order for that horse to move, we'll use our fingers here. Okay. So two fronts, two backs. So we're like this. So what happens is when this is back, when you feel that pulling back, when you're sitting back and you feel like you're strung out here, that means your left hind's underneath them. Then you go strung out, right hind. Strung out, left hind. Now I'm going to tell you a secret of how to kind of feel that. All you're going to do this time is you're going to walk towards the fence and you're going to lean excessively back. Go ahead and walk. <laughs> Now you feel that? It's like somebody's pushing you forward every yeah. once in a while, isn't it? So, what would you say when you got to be pushed forward? Where is your foot when you're pushed? Which foot would be underneath when you get pushed forward? We're going to concentrate on the way back, only on the left hind. Left. 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 You see how you go like that? Yeah. That's when your right hind is out behind you. Now, there's another reason that there's a reason that he puts his right hind out so so vigorously. We've already answered the question. We talked about it in the beginning of the lesson. Why is that? It's the stiffer hind. Oh, okay. So what he's trying to do is he's going, I want to stretch that. 